把咱咋地行大？你能能地成不？只能能地成不？归大。In autonomous county, northwest of Yunnan Province, the New River, Lanchang River, and Jingsha River rise and meet, slowing down their pace and forming a unique landscape of three parallel rivers. The ancient and mysterious Pumi people have lived in this valley with three parallel rivers for generations. The Pumi ethnic minority originated in the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. After thousands of years' migration, the ancestors gradually spread out in the northwest part of Yunnan, starting from nomadism to farming, and finally settled down. At present, the Pumi ethnic minority has about 40,000 people. They have their own speaking language, but no written language has been handed down. In traditional culture, religious classics, eating habits, music, and dance, the Pumi ethnic minority has well preserved the unique customs of the ancient Chan nationality. The day we arrived at the Pumi village coincided with an important festival of their nation, the New Taste Festival. Every summer, when barley and wheat are harvested, men, women, and children of the Pumi people gather to celebrate this important festival. With the accompaniment of the national musical instrument, shipshat ukulele and harmonica, they danced the Pumi's jubilant dance, the Toto dance, with the joy of the new grain harvest. As long as you start total dancing, you can't do without a complement of shipshat ukulele. The technique of making shipshat ukulele as one of the first provincial intangible cultural heritages in Yunnan, a plays an important role in daily life and major festivals of the Pumi people. Mr. Yang Wenjin founded the shipshat ukulele skill workshop in his own home. He has been dedicated to starting the pure handcrafting of the shipshat ukulele and teaching the villagers the making and playing skills for free. He has been devoting a lot of energy to the cultural heritage of the Pumi. The process of making the shipshat ukulele is complex and delicate, which generally involves multiple processes such as material selection, oil drying, carving, painting, etc. It often takes several months to make a fine shipshat ukulele. People buy this money, they look at it and they like it. They think it's different from the machine that is made. I think it's different from the machine that is made. I'm going to show you the machine that is made. In the modern society, where efficiency and profit are pursued, Mr. Yang Wenjing has devoted himself to the traditional handcraft skill through his respect and adherence to his own traditional culture. At the celebration ceremony of the New Taste Festival, those who are singing and dancing all wear grand traditional costumes. The clothing of the Pumi ethnicity is mainly blue, black, and red. Local people told us that their traditional costumes still remain the custom of complete handcrafting.
Shonlang has been making the Pumi traditional costumes for more than 40 years. From collecting wool to rubbing thread, weaving to sewing clothes, she always insisted on the Asian method of making. Along with Xiong Lanyin's singing, we could also see the persistence in her eyes. However, with the separation of traditional cultural skills from modern daily life and the impact of the one-sided pursuit of economic benefits, the confidence of the Pumi people to stick to traditional skills has begun to shatter, and the main labor force in the village has been left in large numbers. The colorful traditional skills of the Pumi are facing a loss crisis. So Compared with the lack of successors in traditional skills, the more severe fact that the Pumi language, which has been passed down for thousands of years, is on the verge of disappearing. Li Changshou, Pumi Cultural Heritage Ambassador, with great concern, she told us about the current situation of Pumi language. Although some of the traditional techniques have gradually withdrawn from the history for various reasons, the traditional skills of ethnic minorities have formed their unique cultural attributes in the long-term development process, and they serve as important parts of human culture. Therefore, the significance of inheriting and innovating these skills in contemporary society is even more profound. Thanks to the efforts of all sectors of society, we have invited a team of Chinese rural construction artists to investigate the Pumi villages and create a theme project of renovating ancient villages with traditional skills. With the support of the special fan of Public Farewell for Pumi Parents and Children launched by us, several skilled inheritors regularly organize young people in the athletic group to learn and access, and they are determined to inherit and carry forward these traditional skills of the Pumi. Under the guidance of the professionals, the local government has gradually set up intangible cultural heritage skill courses and ethnic language classes in primary schools. Hopefully, the cultural spirit of the Pumi people will take root in children, keep inheriting and innovating, and let more and more people be able to feel the unique charm of the Pumi culture.
Tulus dan juga Stella Esnya Pumi. Hola, hola. Oh, 